How's it going guys? Just wanted to do a quick video tonight about uh, some of the recent events that have happened. I'm sure that uh, at the time of this video many of you all know about the unfortunate incidents that happened out in California. Uh, the bar where the guy went in shot the place up and just not long ago there was a tragedy in the synagogue where several people were killed also and what we need to remember in this type of uh, unfortunate events is that these highlight why we've got to be vigilant with our own personal safety uh, we need to be aware of our surroundings uh, that is the biggest thing we need to know what's going on around us we need to be prepared to protect ourselves. These things happen in places that are generally soft targets. Um, you know, people that are generally in a state or a condition to where it's hard for them to defend themselves. Of course, that being in a bar, it was obviously a gun-free zone. And, of course, the synagogue, uh, it was mostly elderly people who were there and there was no security at the time so these things are tragedies that should make us much more aware of the things that are happening around us uh, events like this cannot be predicted they are tragic and of course we're seeing the same routine uh, from the media and from some politicians uh, that we always do but the fact is that evil cannot be legislated. Uh, evil cannot simply be banned. Uh, the proof of that is in all of the laws that are already on the books, uh, as well as other countries that have extremely strict laws or even outright bans on firearms. But uh, we still see tragedies happening there also. But guys, you know, if what we first need to do is to remember all of the families of those that have been suffering. We need to remember the heroes, uh, the deputy that was unfortunately killed trying to save lives as he rushed into the bar to try to stop the shooter. Uh, we need to remember some of the folks that were in there who put themselves at danger to try to help save others. And, you know, those are the real heroes. Uh, unfortunately, they were limited on what they could do with what they had. It's important for us to be vigilant everywhere we go. We need to be prepared. We need to have the tools and the training necessary to, as much as possible, protect ourselves and those around us from these monsters. Guys, that's why I teach firearm safety that's why i teach uh, some of the things that i do in my classes and it's really up to us guys it is up to us to step forward and do what we can to discourage these attacks to discourage people from doing this type of thing and to try to promote sound steps that can be used to help stop these attacks guys this is just a quick video i wanted to do stay safe out there get the training and the tools you need to protect yourself uh learn what you need to do guys keep your eyes open know your environment know those who are around you uh, take the steps of looking for an exit for uh, any building that you ever go into, know where the exits are in case you need to get out of there for whatever reason. I also wanted to briefly mention another incident that happened here in Kentucky, uh, more specifically up in Lexington. We all know that a lot of schools have been working to increase security. Uh, they've been installing metal detectors. They have been hiring uh, school resource officers. But unfortunately, even with all of that done, there was an incident in Lexington of a student getting a gun past metal detectors. Uh, he come into the school a little later than uh, the rest of the students did, so he actually did not go through the walkthrough metal detectors, but 
uh, was instead they used a wand to scan him to see if he had anything on him. He had his gun concealed in a backpack. They did not search the backpack, so he was able to get the gun into the school. Uh, the only way that it was discovered, according to an article in the Lexington Herald newspaper, uh, there was another incident with him at the school that involved discipline, and they searched his backpack, and that was when they found the gun. Another tragedy avoided in that situation, but it still shows that we don't know what could happen. Even with all the steps that have been taken for security in some of these places, things still happen. So again, I can't stress it enough. It's up to us to be vigilant daily. Uh, we need to teach our kids what to do in the event of an attack happen. Uh, it's an unfortunate reality of the times that we live in. But guys, be vigilant. Be aware of your surroundings. Teach your kids to be aware of their surroundings. And do everything possible that you can to protect yourself and your family. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time.